Today, on the account of World COPD Day, I am here to speak to you about COPD. I am Dr. Arjun S. Kashyap, Interventional Pulmonologist working at Sri Shankara Cancer Hospital, Shankarpuram. COPD is a heterogeneous lung disease that is characterized by problems in the airways or the bronchi uh, and or, or problems in the alveoli or the air sacs which is more commonly known as emphysema. It is characterized by persistent, often progressive airflow limitation. The risk factors for COPD are primarily cigarette smoking, exposure to secondhand smoke or which is commonly known as environmental tobacco smoke, exposure to air pollution, exposure to organic or inorganic dusts, chemical solvents can also be risk factors for COPD. The other factors apart from this are genetic factors. A few genes that are present can cause abnormalities. Abnormalities if present can cause COPD, such as the alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. The other factor that we can see is exposure to biomass fuel, which is more commonly seen in uh, patients coming from the rural background or patients from the lower or middle economic uh, countries. Moving on to the symptoms, the symptoms of COPD are cough, dyspnea on exertion, uh, breathlessness causing activity limitation and increase or uh, sudden deterioration in the symptoms or in the clinical condition of the patient is known as an exacerbation. They play an important role in the development or worsening of the disease called COPD. Diagnosis. Moving on to the diagnosis, uh, adequate history along with spirometry forms the cornerstone for diagnosis of COPD. Uh, history uh, which is suggestive of COPD that is the presence of the respiratory symptoms such as cough and breathlessness in any patient who has an exposure to any of the risk factors we mentioned above should arouse a suspicion of COPD. Uh, spirometry which shows obstruction which is consistent with the diagnosis of COPD can be performed. That will also help us to know the degree of airflow limitation as to what medications can be used. Also, it provides us a baseline as to how the patient is progressing with treatment or without treatment. Moving on to combined assessment. So combined assessment is encompasses the clinical history, the spirometry, the risk of exacerbations in the previous year. Also about it speaks about the exercise tolerance. Based on this, the patients are grouped into low risk or high risk groups and treatment changed accordingly. Moving on to the treatment, inhaled bronchodilators form the cornerstone for treatment. Inhaled bronchodilators can be used Inhaled corticosteroids are used in certain set of subset of patients who have a higher tendency of allergy as evidenced by the blood eosinophil, peripheral blood eosinophil count of more than 300. Oral steroids and antibiotics are to be used, can be used in patients who present with exacerbations. The other non-pharmacological therapies that can be used are uh, long-term oxygen therapy in patients who are hypoxemic at rest uh, or and or, or the use of nocturnal oxygen therapy and non-invasive ventilation that will aid or assist with respiration. The other surgical treatments that include uh, that are included for the treatment for COPD are bullectomy, lung volume reduction surgery or the most recent bronchoscopic technique such as an endobronchial valve or thermal endobronchial thermal vapor ablation that is again a bronchoscopic lung volume reduction surgery that can be used in patients with severe COPD or patients who have upper lobe predominant emphysema as part of COPD. The other uh, final resort for patients, uh, the last resort for patients who have severe COPD and are not amenable to any of the other surgical methods is lung transplantation. The prevention for COPD is to prevent or abstain, refrain from smoking, prevention of exposure to environmental tobacco smoke, prevention of exposure to the biomass fuels, also to air pollution. So the theme for this world's COPD day is your lung, your life. So take care of your lungs. Thanks.